Hey guys, welcome back to our second video. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make these Cosmo style dice. So I've already mixed up my resin. Um, I'm still using Pro Marine Supplies resin and I'm going to add in this Breeries Liquid Glitter. I'm also going to add um, this Ultra Sparkle Hollow Glitter. I think I got this off of Amazon. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of that in. And then after you've added all your glitter in, you're going to fill up your molds about halfway. Uh, it's okay if you overfill a little bit. I do on the D4. And now I'm going to be adding little strips of holographic mylar flake and you're just going to cut them up in little strips, crumple them up, and then shove them in your dice. I use a toothpick to kind of push it in and spread it out a little bit more. I got this, um, I bought this cellophane roll from Michaels and I just cut it up and use it as I need it. And you're just going to shove these little pieces in each dice and then I like to use a toothpick to kind of spread them around and open them up once they're inside the dice. And I made this D4 piece a little too big so we're just going to cut that. And then after you've gotten all of your cellophane pieces in, you're going to take blue, I'm using blue and pink alcohol ink because I don't have purple. I'm using Ranger's alcohol ink and I'm, both of these are pearls. The blue is called Tranquil and the pink is Intrigue. So you're going to add one drop of the pink in and then you're going to go back and add one drop of the blue in each dice. And then after you have your alcohol ink dropped in, you're going to take your resin and fill your molds the rest of the way up. I like to do this part in a thin stream to kind of mix, mix and move around the alcohol ink so it doesn't just stay in one spot in the dice. And you can kind of see it spread out as you are pouring the resin in. And with cap molds, I like to make sure I overfill my dice a little bit so when you put the cap on, they still have a little bit of extra resin to suck in as it's curing. And after you get your dice filled up, I usually let mine sit for about 20 minutes so the bubbles have a chance to rise to the surface. And then I take a lighter and just pop all the remaining bubbles that are at the surface when I'm ready to put the cap on. Alright, so now we're going to put the cap on and you want to make sure you line up your little registration keys on the edges and when you're putting this on you kind of want to roll it on so you don't trap air in the middle or on top of any dice and then if you if you get it on and it's a little bit misaligned you can kind of slide it a little bit try not to do that too much but just a little it's not going to hurt it then i like to gently push down the edges just to make sure it's secure and on like it's supposed to be and then we're going to throw it in the pressure pot for 24 hours and then we'll take it out and see how later know. All right, so now we've got them out of the pressure pot. We're gonna take the cap off, remove all of the flashing. And I'm gonna struggle with this a little bit. All 
And I like using this style of mold because there's very little cleanup when you have to actually sand the dice. We usually only have to sand the the one face that's the top. And there you have it. We have nice purple swirls and then we have a, a big clear window where you can see the holographic cellophane. Alright, and here is our final product. And if you like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what kind of tutorial you'd like to see next.